don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell 2020 2021 is turning out to be a great one for Ghanaian player andre ayu he has been hailed as the king of Swansea City by his teammate Jamal Lowe. The Ghanaian is Swansea's highest goal scorer this season, putting in sterling performances that is almost certainly sure to end them a promotion into the English Premier League. Still a long way to go, but he has been praised and adored by his teammate to go into that into detail so we also know that today uh, the chan tournament is going to start and group d is going to be in city of limbe and now reports coming in indicates that there were some explosions in that area although no fatalities and um, it seems that some unrest in that area led to those explosions we'll be looking into details into exactly what happened ahead of the chan tournament uh, which begins later today as usual subscribe if you haven't click on the notification bell to get more updates so Ghanaian player andrea you captain of the black stars vice captain of swansea city a praise has been hipped on him by his teammates Jamal low hailing him as the king of swansea city now there was so much interest in him during still currently is interesting him during this transfer window winter transfer window with the likes of uh, west from which i'll be interested in signing him and letting him join them in the english premier league now west brom are currently struggling and i don't think andrea you would want to join them at this point how valuable he is uh, to swansea city cannot be understated and uh, his teammate has recognized that instantly now andrea you has been crowned the king of swansea city by one of his teammates jamal low uh, now swansea attack his appraisal described the Ghanaian as a king who has been an inspiration to him now the young forward has been drawing lessons from andre who is the deputy skipper of swansea he revealed that he has been working hard on the training ground with andre i've got the king andre next to me who is obviously a top striker and he has been for years he's a big player and i watch train and speak with him every day he helps me and i do a lot of video work with the gaffer and marshy assistant coach it's also out and out training we do a lot of work in our shape and it's just practicing where to move if i make a mistake or go to the wrong place i soon find out the ball is not going there you get the, you get to learn the players the position the role after a bright start to the season andre are you currently facing a cold drought he has scored eight goals in 22 appearances for swansea city this season providing two assists in the process the king of swansea as has been appraised there by his teammates and he's having a stellar season i have to be honest it's been a great season for him but he's in a bit of a drought which happens to any player anyone whatsoever it happens to the, even the best of players but they tend to recover and they tend to show that it's just a spell of or not scoring goals and not a permanent place they are in it happens to everyone and i'm happy for the Ghanaian, uh, who i feel should be in a bigger club though but it looks like he might make it into the premiership uh, with Swansea next uh, season and i'm looking forward to seeing him back in the premier league the premier league needs a quality player like andrea you it will make him even more better uh, than he currently is so that's it there on the front of andrea you his teammate has healed him and called him the king of swansea do you agree with that appraisal let me know what you think in the comments box my next story has to do with the chan 2021 now the chan tournament we all know is set to take place today the first game will be kicking off today between cameroon and zimbabwe and ahead of that first game there have been some arrest in cameroon now explosions were heard near where the group d team will be based and play all the up matches and it's quite unfortunate this is happening but it is not anything that caused any fatalities but there were several cars destroyed in that explosion the report is that an explosion occurred outside the limbe omni sport stadium on thursday just two days after the highly anticipated african nations championship which is also named chan in an attack apparently linked to a local separatist group and now heading into the chan tournament cameroon had faced criticism for using a host stadium in the southwest region against the backdrop of local 
instability. And now Zambia, Tanzania, Guinea and Namibia who are in Group D are expected to play in that Omnisport Stadium during the tournament which is reserved for home-based African players. The first game at the stadium is scheduled between Tanzania and Zambia next Tuesday. Although the attack did not have any fatality, several cars were destroyed amidst ongoing concerns about the safety of the region due to the separatist tensions. Now the reported terrorist attack was claimed by FACO Action Forces according to the local source General du Cameroon. The explosion reportedly took place on the perimeter of the Limbe Stadium, just one of the venues designated to host the Chan matches. Referencing Radio Equinox, Kama Press Agency reported the explosion was caused by a homemade bomb uh, with the shadow government from the Ambazonia state in Cameroon, having released the following reminder and warning in the days preceding the attack. There will be no chance 2021 in FACO and our populations are warned accordingly. There must be victims. Limbe is a dangerous ground. The interim president of the Virtual Republic of Ambazonia, Samuel Ekome Sako, had written. Images circulating on social media have also appeared to show evidence of the explosion. Apart from the Group D games, the quarterfinals and semifinals of the tournament are expected to will be played in that volatile region. Unfortunately, Cameroon Security Department have been battling reported insurgents in the region since 2016. Zambia, Uganda, Cameroon and Niger organized a mini tournament in the host country uh, between 1st and 7th of January ahead of the actual competition. The three visiting countries set up camps since then and are waiting to start their respective Chan campaign. Now Cameroon will kick off their first game today against Zimbabwe. It's quite unfortunate that this is happening in that area in Cameroon. I'm sure Cap would have protocols in place who have taken measures uh, to ensure that nothing else uh, happens any further than what happened with those explosions. We don't want any casualties. Thankfully, there were no fatalities, but several cars were destroyed. Hopefully, that is all we'll hear about this unrest in that region in Cameroon. And the tournament goes on peacefully as expected. And uh, we hope everything runs uh, through smoothly for everyone partaking in this tournament. The Chan tournament is the AFCON for locally based players in case you are wondering and we are looking forward to it here on this channel. Cameroon will take on Zimbabwe later today. I will be bringing you everything you need to know ahead of that game. Let me know your predictions for the Chan tournament. Is your country in the Chan tournament? Let me know how you expect it to go down today and throughout the tournament in the comments box so that has been it for today andrea are you the king of swansea city by his teammate uh, jamal low who is learning a lot from the ghana black stars skipper and arrest and explosions in cameroon ahead of uh, the chan opener today your thoughts in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day